I went to a yard sale this past weekend and I got this box of tools for about ten dollars. I got a couple of clamps. This Irwin feels pretty stout and this Jorgensen is a nice USA made model. This is an Occidental leather hammer holster. You slide it onto your tool belt and the hammer goes in just like this. This is a 21 ounce framing hammer made by Hart. And you can see a new old stock version on eBay right now. They're trying to sell it for $90. The hammer head is heavier than my stiletto hammer, but the handle is shorter, so it feels pretty nimble. There's a, some damage here. I'm just going to smooth it out and make it more comfortable in the hand. And we'll see how long this handle lasts. Maybe it will last for a long time. These channel locks have some rust and there's some paint on the handle, but they open up to two inches and I don't have any that open up that wide, so it's a nice addition for my toolbox. This is a little hatchet sheath that I found at the sale. Uh, I don't have a hatchet that it fits right now. It might be better for like a Norland, a little hatchet or something smaller than what I currently have. This pry bar felt really comfortable in my hand and for a dollar I couldn't pass it up. Um, I just need to do a little cleanup. There's some rust and some dirt and there's a little bit of mushrooming where the people before you had a hammer on it. This pry bar is almost 18 inches long. That's some nice leverage for pulling nails. I got five low grit sanding belts here. You can see there are 36 grit and these are good. You put them over a block and you can use them to sand. This old copper rod looked interesting so I picked it up. The owner said it came off of an old window. So I did a quick Google search for copper rod and window and it turns out that this is a transom window operator. You can see here they're selling for about $85 now. A transom window is a little window that was above the door. I just had to see how this thing would work. Um, so I did a little mock-up. I attached it to this thin piece of wood on a hinge, and that would be the window, the transom window. And you can see, you just push the button and you can move that rod up and down. So that would open and close the window above the door. So I cut down this block for the sandpaper and you slide the sandpaper over like this. And then you have a nice flat sanding block to sand with. So I'm using the wire wheel on my grinder just to clean up these tools and you can see how I attack some of the dirt on this dirt and rust on this uh, channel lock here. I'm also using this 220 grit sandpaper just to clean up the paint on the handle. It's not really taking much rubber off but it's taking the paint off. And you can see here it wipes it right away. It only took me a couple minutes to get this cleaned up. The hand brush just helps get those little spots that I couldn't get with the grinder. I'm using my grinding wheel to smooth out the mushrooming on top of this and also to give it just a slightly sharper edge. It was kind of flattened out and uh, dull. Now it's not perfect, but I got rid of most of the rust, rust as you can see here, and it's going to be used for work anyways. This clamp cleaned up really well. You could read out that Jorgensen and Made in USA stamping. And I'm just going to clean up a little rust on this Irwin as well. These whisks. Model A11 shears, I, 
I got these for a dollar at that same yard sale and I'm going to use them here to cut this can open and I'll show you what I do with that can in a second here. But look at that, it just chomps right through that aluminum. No problem. And it's kind of drizzling out, so I'm using my blue tarp to cover my work area. So I wrap the aluminum can around here and put some duct tape, and that will just help protect the handle from the wire brush. I learned this from watching Scout Crafter and I think 357 Magdad as well. So this is a little misshapen and pretty dull, and I don't really need it to be too sharp, but I want it to look better and I want it to be a little bit sharper, and I'll show you why in a second here. So it's important when you're grinding on metal tools or using your sandpaper like that just to touch your metal and make sure it's not too hot. If it's too hot to touch, then you might be changing the temper. I like the claw to have a little bit of bite. That way, if you needed to pick up a piece of wood, you could do so. I think this handle will still last for a long time. It's got some rough spots and it's kind of dry, but I'm going to fix it up a little bit and it should be fine. Another YouTuber I follow is Sparky415 and he makes this axe wax uh, for his wooden handles and you might use it on leather and it's good for protecting metal as well uh, keep it from rusting so you can see I use it here on the hammer on the metal and the wood just to bring some bring some life into it I like to condition my leather boots and my leather work items and I picked up this leather conditioner at the store you just use a rag and you wipe it on and I let it soak in for a few minutes and then I just kind of buff it out give it an even finish. This will help extend the life of the leather and an another important thing is to not forget to get your stitches. I put a little armor roll on the rubber handles of these uh, these two tools here and then I put a little bit on the clamp handle which is rubber and just a little bit on the paint just to give it a little bit of shine and then I went on to use Sparky's Axe Wax on the rest of the metal tools just to protect it from rust and has a little bit of coat of protectant there. After cleaning the rust out of these threads, I use the 3-in-1 oil here to lubricate it. It's nice and smooth now. This is to demonstrate how the hammer holster will be used. I have an extra belt and pouch here, and I'm just going to have kind of a lightweight setup for around the house in case I need my knife or measuring tape, a square. I've got some pencils in there. Overall, I think my favorite tools here are the hammer and the hammer holster. I know I'll get the most use out of those. And the sanding block and the clamps will be close second, I'm sure. I use clamps all the time because I don't have a vise right now. Now that the handle is clean on these channel locks and the rust is gone, they make a great addition for my toolbox. I'm not sure what I'll use this copper transom window operator for yet, but if you have any ideas, please leave me a comment. Thanks for watching.